Hey everyone, in this video we'll be discussing this problem from Jean Carla Handouts. So this is a problem based on kinematics. And an exactly similar problem is also available in the book Pathfinder. So let's try to understand the problem. Balloons with constant ascending velocities can be used to investigate wind velocities at various heights. The given graph of elevation angle against time was obtained by observing of such a balloon. Uh, the balloon was released at a distance of one kilometer from the point of observation and it seemed to be rising directly upwards. Knowing that wind velocity near the ground was zero, find the balloon's height at time t equal to seven minutes after its start and the wind velocity at this height. The, this is the graph that is given. So initially, as you can see, so this is a graph of uh, the elevation angle from an observation point of the balloon uh, versus the time. So at t equal to zero, as you can see, the elevation angle is zero. Uh, and as time passes, the elevation angle keeps on increases and it reaches a maximum value and then it starts to decrease. Now let's try to understand why that happens. So let's say we have a point uh, O that is fixed to the ground and we are observing another point A and, let, and if we join those two points with a straight line, if the velocity of A is parallel to the line OA, then this elevation angle does not change, right? But if the velocity is as some angle with the line, then depending on what direction the velocity is, the d theta by dt, the rate of change of the angle can either be positive or be negative. So for example, if the velocity is in this direction, then we can see that theta, the rate of change of theta will be positive. Theta is going to increase. And if the velocity is in this direction, then we can see the velocity is going to decrease. So that's what's going to happen. So in the graph, initially it will increase, right? Because there is the wind velocity near the ground is zero. So almost the entire velocity is upwards. And after a while, wind velocity starts acting and the velocity will become something like this. And at the time when the elevation angle is 60 degrees from the ground, the net velocity will be along this particular line. That's why momentarily its rate of change is zero. So that is the concept behind this question. Let's try to draw a diagram. So it's given that uh, initially the observation point is at a distance of one kilometer. So let's say this is the observation point. Now it's given that initially uh, the angle of elevation is zero, which means the balloon must be over here, right? And this distance is one kilometer. And initially the wind velocity was zero. So there is only this ascension velocity, which is let's say V, right? We can easily, f what is the d theta by dt value at t equal to zero, which is just in this situation that is going to be V divided by 1000, right? Well, that's going to be the velocity divided by the distance from the axis. So that is going to be the rate of change of this theta, right? At t equal to zero. We can also find that from the graph. So from the graph, uh, I mean, this is obviously an approximation because we don't exactly know what this curve is, right? So this is going to be an approximation. But if we zoom in, we can see this entire unit is one minute, one minute, which means this one unit is going to be 0 0.2 minutes. So this is going to be 0 0.2 minutes. And we know one unit, this is 10 degrees. So this will be four degrees. And this height is going to be four degrees. So the slope, so the approximate slope at t equal to zero, uh, t equal to zero will be four degrees divided by 0.2 minutes. So this we can approximate it. And this is at t equal to zero, by the way. We can approximate it to be four degrees divided by 0 0.2 minutes. So now if you convert it into SI units, so degrees, I can multiply it with pi by 180 to convert it into radians and minutes, I can multiply it with 60. And if I multiply this with 1000, I'll get the velocity to be approximately 5.82 meters per second. So this is the velocity with which the balloon is rising. The At alpha equal to 60 degree, the omega, or you can say the rate of change of theta instantaneously becomes zero. Now what that means is the net velocity 
so in the situation when the angle of elevation is 60 degree of the balloon then what happens is the, is the net velocity of the balloon is along the direction OB. So which means even this angle is going to be 60 degrees. Now as we found out the value of V and let's assume the value of wind velocity is VW, we can write tan 60 from the vector triangle to be V upon VW and from here we can get the wind velocity which comes out to be 3.66 meters per second okay so now we also have to find this height h which is very easy to find out because velocity with which this uh, balloon is rising is simply v so the height h we can simply write it as a velocity multiplied by the time which is 5.82 times 7 minutes so converting that into seconds we'll get the answer to be 2444.4 meters so that was it for this problem guys now obviously this is an approximate answer because we don't exactly know what the nature of the curve is like. So we approximated this part to be a straight line. So yeah, that was it for this problem, guys. Uh, if you have any doubts, comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.